Hello Aries! Thank you very much for tuning in to your general read. For the main part of the read, I'm using Witch's Tarot by Ellen Dugan. For support of Oracle cards, Queen of the Moon Oracle by Stacey DeMarco. Sun's going in and out, trying to deal with that, but should be fine. Aries! Another one. There's a lot starting this situation. So we got a lot of tarot cards, we've got two oracle cards, but that's good. Um, there's a lot going on here. Um, there's a lot. It feels like when you came into the situation, you came in with a lot of positive energy, a lot of investing energy is kind of what I'm getting, because you have the Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands. The situation, like... I don't know if you need to see those, but there you go if you want to see them. When you got involved with it, you knew it was going to be a while. You knew it was going to take some time, and you actively chose your role in it is what I'm getting and what you wanted from it. The reason you chose to be a part of it is because you saw a great benefit coming from it. You knew what you'd have to do to be a part of that. You were into it. You were invested in it. You're like, all right, I could do that. I'll, I'll do that. I'm good with that. Now this is the opposing, I don't want to, well, I don't want to call it the opposing energy because I'm getting, there's a weird feel here. You've got the Empress with the Emperor and the Five of Cups. See, your energy is very strong is what I'm getting. And somebody else here, if not more than one, they wanted to be the, the leader of the situation. They, they want to call the shots. And they're seeing your involvement in here as kind of a wild card. If they involved you in it, this is the past, they felt like if they involved you in it, they would have to allow from, for some random or differences or changes as they go. There was that, there, it would have to evolve as it kept going, and they'd have to allow you to have some breathing room if they really wanted to do this. I'm getting the Five of Cups like they weren't over the moon about this, because they, they realized that your energy is very dynamic, and you would kind of, you could end up taking the lead with this. And I'm feeling the energy here I'm getting with the Emperor and Empress is like they wanted to be the controllers. They wanted to feel in control. They wanted to stay in control. They didn't think you'd be easy to control in this situation is what I'm getting. But this did go forward. You chose to be a part of it. You seem to have seen this for what it was, though. I feel like that's another thing that bothered them. They knew that you saw them for who they were. They knew that. And it caused some a little bit of uh, tension at first, but you each I feel like you each saw each other for who you are, and you decided to move forward with the the, uh, the magician. And I'm getting as it started off, it started off great because you both you and whoever you were dealing with knew what was going to happen, knew what to expect from the other, respected those boundaries. You and them both you respected each other's boundaries, moved forward as as you needed to. And I'm getting is like, there's some planning that went into this, but when it started, it started off with a bang, and you were very happy and at peace with it because it went exactly the way you expected it to. I'm not saying it was the perfect day. I know it's the sun card there, but I'm getting you were elated to be a part of the situation. It started off with a bang. You were very happy the way it started. I'm not, again, I'm not saying it was the perfect day, but I'm saying the way it played out is exactly what you thought it was going to be, and you were very happy to be a part of it. That's what I'm feeling. I know that's kind of negating the sun card. I mean, it was a good moment, and to you, you were very happy, but I don't feel like painting it as if it was the best moment in life really works. Um, but the peace card there, I feel like the way it started off is exactly the way you expected it to. You, the way you expected it to start, it did. And your role went forward as expected, and you were happy about that. Now, <clears throat> as things go forward, I feel like you and whoever you're dealing with are going to continue to get along very well, but I'm noticing the Knight of Cups between you, kind of like you're both like accommodating the other. You're accommodating that energy, they're reciprocating and accommodating you just as much. So it's very much like going out of your way for each other, trying to make things easier for each other. Like if this is a work thing for some of you, the person you're working with, you're making it easy for them. You're doing things kind of the way that they want as much as you can. 
they're backing off, letting you have your room, giving you your space, giving you the help when needed when you ask for it, whatever you want. They're staying out of your way, things like that. Like you're both working around each other, trying to make it easy for the other, and you're getting like the benefits from it. It seems fine, but what I'm getting is at some point, this just, even though it's going really well, I'm getting both sides seem to be getting exhausted. Are you getting exhausted? Maybe not you, but the other side seems to be getting exhausted because they've got the Seven of Swords and they've got the Eight of Wands. It goes well, 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 good, good, good for the longest time. And then like, it's almost like overnight, they're like, we're out, done, gotta go. Because the, it's like the Seven of Swords, like I know that's a daytime card on this one, but it can be a thief in the night sometimes. And the Eight of uh, Eight of Wands is saying it happens real fast. Real fast, it's just like they're done. They're just done. Um, it just seems, it's really quick. And when I'm seeing this happen, you have the Four of Swords with the Eight of Cups. I feel like at first, like, you got the Four of Swords, like you're trying to just kind of salvage the situation for what it is. That's the Four of Swords. Like what you put into it, you're trying to get out of it. That's the Four of Swords. But the Eight of Cups is like everything else. You're, you're just kind of like, well, if they left, I guess it's time for me to leave too. It just seems like you're trying to salvage anything you can. I feel like the Four of Swords here is saying that. Like what I put into this, I'm getting out of it. That type of attitude, which makes, makes sense to me, seems fair. But once you do that, once you secure what you put into it, I feel like the Eight of Cups is saying you're leaving it. You're walking away from it. Um, and... What's also kind of reiterating this, in my opinion, is the focus card right on top. It's kind of like you're focused on what you're involved with. You're focused on what you need to get out of it. But you're also like, you know what? I, I realize this is this is a done deal. It's over. The other side moved on. I feel like it's time for me too. It's almost like there's no choice with it. And I'm getting the moon card in the end. Like the, the way that this ended, even though you got along so well for so long, you're, you're not really likely to get involved with this situation with these people again because it, it was an abrupt ending and it's not like you you obviously handled it. It's not like you can't handle that, but it's like it's like everything was good, 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 and then bye. Then they just left. It's like it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, and then they just left. And you're just kind of like, okay. Um, you, you seem very kind of bewildered by this energy, kind of like, what makes them tick? What made them make that left turn? You don't really have any answers with this, is what I'm getting with the moon. Um, <clears throat> I feel like for those of you this reading is hitting for, if you're dealing with a situation where somebody is really compensating and really being nice to you and every, like, you're being really nice to them too, but you're not really best buddies, you're just, like, you know, very accommodating to the other, keep an eye out in case this ends quickly. Because I feel like that's what it's coming up to. Like you're coming up to an abrupt ending, a quick ending. Um, it's almost like it's it's it stops as quick as it starts. I feel like they're just trying to give you a heads up that this is coming for those of you that this is hitting with. And that's what I got. I don't see any interest coming. Like why? I mean, I know it's a general read, but like the why seems to be like. And it's almost like it's not really that odd for them to do that type of thing. It's just like the why they did it this time. I don't see any answers. I don't see you getting any answers. Actually getting, if I keep pushing forward, it almost seems like you're like, I'm not getting myself in that boat again anyway, so who cares what the answer is? answer is. It's like you're annoyed with it. It's like, eh, whatever. All right, that's what we got. I'm going to shut this down here. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.